So welcome back everybody. We're gonna get this Baja 5B and that DBXL 2.0. Those two are gonna go head to head. It's a head to head video. But first off, we're gonna we're gonna do a few upgrades. We gotta change a few things. Just uh wanna make sure they're they're safe, wanna make sure they're right, wanna make sure they're ready to go against each other. Um, because they're both a blast. But they could both use a little few little things. So I'm going to show you uh, a couple little things on the Baja and one thing on the uh, DBXL 2.0. Stay tuned. So on this Baja, I don't know if you see what's sitting in front of it. It's a new servo. So I want to let you know. I don't know if you can see it. Let's see if it starts doing it. But every once in a while, that EcoPower servo glitches out man there it goes you can see it kind of moving just a little bit back and forth make a little bit of noise that thing is sketchy so what's funny is you know i've used those power those servos on other things they've been great but i have i did a little bit of a uh, little bit of leg work recently and noticed man they're having power they're having some problems with them so what we've got on the bench Got an AGF 32kg. I have uh, AGF makes a lot of servos for a lot of different people. They're a big servo manufacturer. Um, if you want to check out like servos for any RCs, um, there's uh, on on YouTube RC Review. He does a ton of servo reviews. He actually tests them and all that other stuff. I love his videos because I think. I'm a I'm kind of a servo snob. I like having a good servo for steering and all that other stuff. This uh, Power HD servo for the steering, it's okay. It's got tons of torque. I wish it was a little bit faster. Um, this Eco Power's got tons of torque. It's pretty quick too. But this AGF, you know, it's a much more um, capable servo, and it should be should last the life of this car. I mean, it's a full. You know, aluminum cased, metal geared servo, super, super nice. Plenty of torque, plenty of speed, um, you know, for this uh, full waterproof setup, IP67 waterproof setup. So it's super, super nice. Really, really enjoy that. I actually have one of theirs in uh, of a 74 kg uh, AGF in our X Max, and that thing is a beast. I mean, it is awesome. And it's a standard size servo in almost, they consider it a six scale. It's really a fifth scale. Um, so we're going to upgrade this servo on here. And then we're going to do a little intake upgrade on the DVXL. You can see it's done, but I'm going to show it to you how I, what I did. Um, because that stock intake setup on this thing is super restrictive. And I uh, just wanted to get a little bit more, um, you know, off throttle response, a little bit more power out of it. Um, let this uh, O'Neill Brothers 34cc breathe. And uh, so we'll show you that next. So first up, we're going to show you this little servo setup. So it's cool. You take that top body panel off, get the top cage off, get the cover off. I know, there's a lot of wires because some of these wires are so long. I, I, I might take my time to zip tie them up. Probably won't should but um doing the throttle brake servo pretty easy you can do it with leaving the whole assembly in there you know steering servo you got to actually pop you got to undo this pop the whole uh, assembly out and change it out but this is pretty simple so um we'll undo this you know arm off this is an agf arm already that i put on there so it's got a nice aluminum arm undo the four screws pop out the, the wires i've got them all you know zip tied together and stuff here it's just when they get in there it's kind of messed up so um but it works i've got my ddm that's my 2s lipo battery that's in there i've got a bunch of foam underneath there because it's you know super thin uh compared to that you know other factory battery one of the, the nickel metal hydride battery so then we're gonna We'll turn it around. We'll pull that out. So, man, so pop that off. Pull the wire. 
Eco Power. Oh, man, if I can do this with my left hand. Eco Power is out. Right? Almost, almost, almost. Eco Power out. AGF. Ready? One, two, three. Ready? You know, sometimes you just got to make a few sparks. Um, we got to do a little modification to the ears on this, uh, on this servo. So we got a full, full up shop here. We can fabricate, MIG weld, TIG weld. We can do everything here. So we're just going to do a little trimming. So in order to get the sit a, uh, servo to sit in there right, um, had to trim the ears a little bit. You got to trim them straight because they kind of they curve around here to cup. You know, like the the positions where they screw in. Well, this thing's old school, so um, it's set up for a little bit bigger servo somehow. I don't know. It's really weird the mounting position. So. Um, just open up those holes, you know, straighten them out a little bit. That way, because if this thing, if you have it sit in there and it gets positioned forward just a little bit, then it contacts this cage. So I had to do the same thing on the Eco Power, but that, you know, they're plastic, so I just cut them, you know, with a pair of dikes, you know, and stuff. Hey, by the way, missing a screw right there, too. Missing a screw. This thing, man, the quality of these things has really gone down because they're a metal case, you know, with composite top and bottom. Um, man, not not impressed. Um, so, used them in the past and really, you know, enjoyed them and liked them, but not so much this time. So, are you ready? Should we get this thing in there? Ready? Bang! Look at that. All back together. Man, looking fresh. That servo fits perfect. Um, notching the, them lets it sit back. Oh man, sorry for the camera right there. Because if you don't notch them, this thing's like all these standard servos, they all sit, sit too far forward and it keeps this thing from really sitting down the top part of the cage. So you notch them a little bit, it slides back just the tiniest bit, it fits in there great. Um, got all this, you know, travel set up. The DX5C setup is so much nicer. You know, I've never had a really, really, really nice, you know, transmitter or controller, radio, whatever you want to call it. Um, that thing is super awesome, having a lot more adjustability in it. Um, but yeah, that AGF fits in there good. I trust, you know, that servo a lot better. I mean, it's a really good servo. AGF makes really nice stuff. So, you know, maybe one of these days we'll either go to a Reefs or an AGF for the steering or maybe are no superior designs. I've used them a lot on some of the other ones too. So man, this thing is a bad boy. So now I feel way more comfortable. I didn't like the fact that the steering throttle was starting to twitch because the last thing I want is for it to um, get stuck in full throttle position. Thankfully I've got that kill switch, but um, you know, you never want that to happen. You know, safety's, uh, safety's an important thing. And, um, you know, spending this, this servo was, I think I got it for 50 bucks. Um, and it's a really nice, I mean, it's a all aluminum cased, you know, billet cased, metal geared, really nice servo. So, um, I would run these on like, I don't know. I mean, these would probably be great for like a steering setup on, you know, any of the granites, the 3S vehicles and stuff. Um, I've got those no superior designs on there. That's how they have more torque and more speed because they're direct power. But they're a little bit more expensive. They're like in the $60, $70 range. And um, man, I got this thing off of uh, Amazon. AGF's on Amazon right now. So check them out. I'll put a link in the description for it. And uh, all right. So next up, intake setup on the DBXL. Next up. Up is just a quick upgrade on this DBXL uh, 2.0. Uh, 
I'll uh, put links in the descriptions to the parts I used. Um, so if you look, this is the factory intake setup. I mean, that thing is so thin, chumpty. I mean, it's just... So what it does, it sits right up against the carburetor, right? And it makes it so that you can flip this body, you know, because the body, you know, is hinged and you can flip it wide open, right? So the setup I did is similar to how they did the first generation uh, DBXL. Didn't stick out as far, but um, it's a much better, you know, direct intake setup, higher flowing, you're not going to get as much restriction through that whole deal that they got going there. So it does make opening the body a little bit harder, but you just pull it out and flop it open. But, so I'll get it open, show you what it is. So, you can see the body hinges open. So one thing that you can do on this thing is, so what I did is I put a DDM uh, velocity stack on it. So normally this is just bolted right up to the carburetor. You know, there's no velocity stack, no anything. There's a, there is a gasket, but it just sandwiches right up against it. So you know, the air's got to make, hit this hard bend and then hit this hard bend and go through. And I, I, I mean, it is only an R, you know, tiny little RC motor, but having a direct line straight in, this is just a uh, clamp on. This is a DT1 filter. They kind of, they use them on the, I think the low C5Ts and stuff like that. Um, it's three and a half inches in diameter, clamps onto a standard velocity stack. I did put an outer wares on it too. It's like a dome filter. Um, you know, so it pulls from, pulls from all the way around, all the way around. It's a full open filter. So it's super nice, three stage, uh, really nice setup. Um, so it's going to get a direct line in there with the velocity stack and everything. So, and use the original bolts, um, pull them out, bolt it all back in with the, uh, velocity stack and you bolt this on. And what it does too, is like when this thing's here, you can, it's really hard to get the gas cap off. It's really hard to get to the choke. Now, when this thing's closed, the body's all closed. I can fill this with the body closed. I can actuate the choke super easy. I can access everything way better. It's way snappier off idle, way snappier throttle. It's way happier, way happier. Um, makes It's much more responsive. You can tell this thing is super restrictive. I mean, it's fine for the stock motor and stuff, but you guys start doing anything, you pour, do a ported head or anything like that, or you do a bigger motor or anything, you're gonna wanna do something like this. So, and all I did was look at the body. So in the cage, if you look inside the cage, they have the cutout there still. How they had it on the first generation of the uh, DBXL. So if you look at the other side, you know, there's no cutout, but they got that oval section. So all I did was I took the body that was there, traced it along, traced it along the edge, and then I just trimmed the body out. So I got the body all trimmed out. Now, when you go to, you know, close the body and stuff, you gotta pull it over, pull it to the side a little bit and then get it over the filter. And But you had to do that anyways with the stock setup because they had those stupid three pins, which we almost everybody cuts off because they are a huge pain. This thing closes easy, way more, um, oh man, dropped it. Um, way more air, you know, coming in. It's a way better filter. Um, Easier to take on and off, easier to clean, um, more access to the gas tank, more access to the carburetor, everything. I, I don't see why you wouldn't do it. You get a velocity stack at the same time. This is a way better setup. Now, I know from the factory they did it so you can open and close the body super easy. But honestly, it's not that big of a deal to trim it out and do that. So, um just want to show you this is the next uh the next little upgrade we did to it and it made a huge difference it like literally the throttle response is way better and uh you know it's dark it's raining right now outside um but we'll uh we'll get some runs for you we'll show you we'll get some runs of this and uh, we're gonna throw the dirt tires on it one thing i noticed too is i've got some cracks in the wheels too on the other side so but i do have some of those uh 
DDM, um, what are they? The same tires that are on the, on that guy, the Baja 5B. So we're going to throw those dirt tires on there. That way they can be equal. That both have some really good tires and we're going to go head to head with these monsters. Gas power for life, baby. Hey, so we're back out here at the park. I don't know if you can see it. We got DBXL. We got the Baja 5B. We got, we got Summit yeah. Digger Pink Power. I know, look at that DBXL. But we just got a great deal. Looks pretty awesome on those Mad Max tires. We got the Baja 5B on the Mad Max tires. And, and it's the head to head. We're going to drag race them a couple times, do some yeah. freestyle. We're, we're, we got to do our great Digger video, which is we on will. There, the back. We'll Oh yeah, we're gonna do a monster truck video one of these days too, but it's the head to head. These guys are loud, they're obnoxious, they're fun. I'm probably gonna piss some people off today, <laughs> but uh, drag race coming up. Good luck, sir. Good luck, man. All right, you ready? I don't know if you can hear it, but man, that Baja 5B just shredded everything. I think it's faster. I know it doesn't have as much traction, but that's how fun with the GBXL. These two are awesome. We're gonna get a little bit more of these electric ones because I think we're a little on the loud side today. Hit that little button and you can kill it. Push it, push it. Booyah, kill switches. Man, that was fun. So next up, I think we're gonna do a little bit of uh, electric stuff. And then we might have a little surprise. I got that. Hey, I don't know if you saw that. We had this old piece of junk. We said, hey, we're gonna have some fun with it. Man, that DBXL, that, that DBXL is heavy, right? The DBXL's yeah. got some weight. Um, <laughs> what did it do, Dash? It, 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 it yeah, it now up. nobody's gonna be able to back it. Because you'll already back the whole thing like bodies broken. broken. No, we'll let you uh, take son of a digger to it too. You can jump over him. Hey. But look, we wanted to show you that. Just have some fun. This thing was Wait, already broken. Please way. comment, like, Let's and subscribe. Chat. We appreciate all the support. Um, you know, we've got some more fun stuff coming up. So, what gas power for life, baby. Like and subscribe.